Now, Rachel, one of the things that I want to get out there, and I want you to just be as raw with your candor as possible, maybe even more than you're comfortable with on this one, because it's like people need to know. And right. a lot of times, and I, I know my wife was my partner when I first started my business, and she still mm -hmm. is today. And sometimes my wife would say something, and I would say, whatever. Because, you know, she's my wife. She couldn't, act, she couldn't be the, the, the expert. So then I would go talk to a business guru who would say exactly what my wife said, and then I would crawl back to her and I'd say, baby, I'm so sorry, you're so right. So this is kind of that real talk here that we maybe are hearing at home, but they need to hear from an expert like you. So sure. here we go. So Rachel, let me ask you, on, on a daily basis, what are some of the most effective ways that business owners can really build up the number of visits to their website, build up their audience? Okay, so first you're gonna identify your audience. Okay. And so how do I identify my audience. Um, I'm going to go to people that are in my vertical. So uh, I'm trying to reach families and families that are into experience and having experience with their children. So uh, for me, parents, family fun, uh, sites like Design Mom um, and some other parenting bloggers that uh, have millions of people going to their sites every single day. I want to ask you this. So you're saying that you identify your audience. Mm -hmm. You basically are going to a few people who you think are in your vertical. Right. So I want to I clarify just what the name, what the word vertical means, in case I'm watching this and I'm kind of a little bit what is What does vertical mean? So if life? they're reaching parents, then like I'm in the parenting lifestyle vertical, where if you're selling, uh, if you're selling car parts, you're going to be after an automotive geared audience. So you're going to go like to, uh, you know, car and track or what, what, what's the big car magazines or, you know, yeah, you're going yeah. gonna to reach those people. Okay. Um, if you're into food, then you're going to go after like the food magazine, if wedding, Martha Stewart weddings or, or whatever. So that would be like the wedding vertical, right? Or like bridal. And so I'm in the parenting vertical. So you first of all identify what vertical you're in and who who the um, the influencers are online um, in your vertical. So so step one is identify your audience in your in, in your vertical there. Right. And then step two is go to the influencers. Right. The in people that? that are dominating in that vertical. Okay. So like Pandora, like Pandora, if you like this you're going to like this. So I'm going to bet that if you like this site, if you like uh, Parenting Magazine, and you like, and you're already following their cupcake board, yeah. you're probably going to like my board. So my competition has already done the work for me. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's kind of where your aha is right there. Right. Okay. So when I, okay, so when I figured that out, right, that's common sense so I want to reach those parents and I already know they're engaged yeah. it's a focus group it's already there I already know they're engaged it literally lists how many like pins they have specifically on Pinterest how many followers are how many so it's already done for you so you know if they're truly engaged so I'm going to send invitations clay whoa so if I want to have the largest party in the world if I want to invite if I want who out there wants 10 million people to come to their website uh, every month? Is there anyone? Do you, Clay? Yeah, I think, I think everybody would, right? Okay, I think those guys back there here, the, the 40,000 people that are here with us yeah, today yeah, yeah. Uh, in the studio audience. Um, so I, if you want to invite, if you want to fill Madison Square Garden, but you don't, and you've done all the work, you've done all the prep, prep work and you don't send the invitation, then if you don't send in the invitation, nobody's going to come. So the cool thing in social media is for 50,000 people or 50 million people to follow you, but you only follow four. So that is not the cool when you're trying to build an audience and try to sell products. So First of all, I want engage. So I'm going to follow them. So how does it make you feel when somebody follows you? How, how does it make you feel when somebody? I think somebody it makes so, you feel, so, feel appreciated. I think valued. It makes you valued. Yeah. Right. It makes you feel great. Somebody told me once it makes me feel famous. I feel val. I like you. We're into the same thing because I've identified people that are in my. It's not you don't just randomly follow people. You follow people that are into what you're 
doing and, and what you're into. So they're more likely to follow you. And now you're building a community of like-minded people. And you've told them that you care about them. So now you're, you're, you're building a loyal audience and uh, um, you, you're building a relationship with them that you're saying, I respect you, you respect me. And, um, and then your audience will start growing. So this is sort of like, no one does this, Clay. No one does this. This is like my new, fr this is fresh and hot out of the oven.